Last year in 2022, I brought out a top three video to let you know my favorite Android head unit brands based on my own usage of them. And since then, you guys have been asking me for my 2023 list. And that is what this video is gonna be. To date, I have reviewed over 50 Android head units and if they've made it onto this prestigious list, it's because they have impressed me enough to be placed at the top of the pile for 2023. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the seven very best Android head unit brands based on my personal experience using them. Now it's important for you to note that this is not a sponsored video and I do not get paid to endorse any of these companies or products. This is an honest reflection of my personal opinion having used them. So every head unit on this list is already compatible with steering wheel controls, video apps such as Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, etc., and any other apps that you want to install. And they all come with wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay as standard. And then through additional accessories, all of them are compatible with the DVR dash cams, tire pressure monitoring systems, DAB digital radio. You can view live car data on the screen with an ODB2 reader, and you can have front and rear cameras. Enon have been around for many years and are a well-respected and trusted brand. A fun fact for you is that the very first Android head unit I ever installed was in fact an Enon in my old Ford Focus. This was the company that opened my eyes to the possibilities of Android head units. They cater for all manner of budgets and offer car specific products which will include dash trim fitting kits and plug and play looms with canvas decoders to make fitting as easy as possible with a factory looking finish. They also offer awesome doubled in universal options. Now the reason that I've chosen them as a top brand is down to their 2023 flagship head unit, the UA12S Plus. And it's very reasonably priced at less than $300. It has an awesome Snapdragon 665 SoC and six gigabytes of RAM. This hardware combination ensures speedy usage with an excellent multitasking ability. This is a standard doubled in unit with a 10 inch display with a fully tiltable screen, allowing it to face the driver in the car. And its form factor means that it's gonna win my 2023 award for the easiest to install. The QLED screen ensures great contrast and the resolution of 720p is plenty for the use case. You also get the added benefits of a 4G modem for a permanent data connection if you want one, and a HDMI port so that you can output HD digital video and audio to a second screen, such as one on the rear headrests. Software-wise, Enon runs on genuine Android 12, which means you can easily install the latest version of pretty much any app on the Play Store. Enon are one of the very few brands that understand that consumers want to look at RDS radio station names instead of frequencies. On top of all of that, you also get a huge amount of audio control, allowing you to get the sound that you're looking for in your car. Check out the full video review to see everything it can do, but I can confidently say that this is one of my favorite head units. Joying are a well-known premium Android head unit brand who make products which are beautiful, feature-rich, and have high-end specifications. They make both head units for specific cars and also, dare I say it, the best universal head units available. Their previous flagship head unit made my top three list last year, so it should come at no surprise that they are back this year. The product that has brought them onto this list is the 2023 flagship head unit, which is a stunning, ultra thin gloss black 1080p display which comes in three sizes 11.6 13.3 and this whopping 15.1 inch display this screen is also detachable join wins my 2023 award for the most beautiful android head unit the main unit of these joins are available in standard single and double din so they're very easy to install at around the 500 dollars mark they're at the higher end of the budget scale but you get what you pay for. These drawings are based on the Snapdragon 6125 SoC with eight gigabytes of RAM. And these are excellent specifications, providing a very fast user experience. On top 
of this, the Joings RCA pre-outs output a clean signal at 4.6 volts, digital audio output via both coax and optical, and DTS 5.1 compatibility with the inclusion of its separate center channel RCA. All of this coupled with Joing's absolutely brilliantly designed software to provide advanced control of all aspects of the audio, which means that this head unit wins my 2023 award for best in class for audio. The 4G modem also allows for a permanent data connection in the event that you want one. Now there's a version of this Joing model which incorporates a secret HDMI port which is only available on their website. I say secret because you bizarrely have to open the case to access it. The HDMI port does actually have the awesome dual screen ability so that you can, for example, send Netflix to an external screen for the kids whilst you navigate on the main screen. I've also found that the HDMI models also have another hidden socket inside the casing and this is for the 360 parking cameras. I did test this feature and it was working, but it's not advertised anywhere. So I can't guarantee that it will be on all units, but it can't hurt you to ask them. Software wise, the drawing runs genuine Android 12 and is one of the prettiest and easiest user interfaces on the market. The launcher itself is a bit basic, but you can always install another one if you want a bit more customizability. It has awesome split screen functionality, allowing you to run two full apps side by side on the screen, which can be very useful on a huge screen like this. And it also allows recording from both a reverse camera and a front camera, should you install them. Find the links for the full review and the purchase options in the video description. A Toto products have famously been available on Amazon for many years, and have made quite the name for themselves as a trusted brand. They're enormously popular and they specialize in universal head units in single and doubled in form factors with different products that cater for different budgets. Their S8 premium head unit is the reason why Atoto made it onto this list and it will set you back around $300. This head unit sports the UIS 7862A SOC, which is the most powerful SOC or CPU currently available in the world of Android head units. And based on benchmarks, the Atoto S8 is actually the highest scoring seven inch Android head unit that I have ever tested. The S8 wins my 2023 award for the most powerful seven inch Android head unit. Atoto is also one of the few brands offering physical buttons. And I personally believe that this offers an additional quality and ease of use to these head units. Now from a software perspective, the Atoto runs Android 10 and has a lot of customizability on their launcher, allowing you to install widgets as well as the apps that you want on the dashboard. The S8 FM radio software has an excellent design and use of RDS, and the S8 has plenty of audio options that are flexible enough for you to use to be able to set up the sound how you want it. The S8 range is compatible with Atoto's awesome 360 camera system, which is essentially a single camera with a 180 degree view that has software that scans the ground and creates a bird's eye view of the surrounding of your car as you reverse. The more expensive S8 Ultra has a bunch of premium features such as upgrade of four gigabytes of RAM, SPDIF optical output, 4G data connection, and even a hand gesture control. Although interestingly, at the time of publishing this video, the S8 Ultra doesn't seem to be available anymore. If you're looking to save a bit of money, Atoto's A6 head units are still pretty good by it, around $200. But bear in mind that you won't get proper RCA outputs or compatibility with the 360 camera. Links to the full product reviews and purchase locations will be in the video description. Now, before we continue, as it takes me an enormous amount of time to create this content, I'd like to ask if you'd be kind enough to support me and my channel by giving me a cheeky like, and please do subscribe for more stuff on the evolution of car tech, advice on how to get the best out of your Android head units, and reviews on awesome gadgets. iDoing is another brand that featured in my top three video from last year. iDoing develop products for specific cars and include the relevant dashboard trims and canvas looms required for a seamless factory looking installation. They also have products for universal installations such as single and double din units and they have zero din which allows you to install a screen away from where the original radio was installed using a ribbon cable. These are great for custom installs. Now the head unit that bumped iDoing onto this list is this prestigious 2023 flagship, which sports the excellent Snapdragon 6125 SoC with eight gigabytes of RAM, which as we have seen, provides a very quick user interface. The iDoing has a premium 1200p or 2K QLED display providing pinpoint detail 
with awesome contrast ratio, making everything on the screen just look fantastic. From a premium connectivity perspective, as standard, you are treated to six RCA pre-outs, which include a center channel for DTS 5.1 surround sound. You get digital audio outputs via optical and coax for diff and a HDMI port for outputting to an external monitor. And the iDoing has the awesome capability of sending a different app to an external screen. So you can send Netflix, for example, to a separate monitor to keep the kids entertained whilst you're navigating on the main screen. You also get a built-in 4G modem if you're looking for that permanent data connection. Software-wise, the iDoing runs on genuine Android 12. The launcher looks modern and is very functional, and the user interface overall is very good with the menus being easy to navigate to find the settings that you're looking for. The iDoing offers insane amounts of control over the audio in pretty much any way you could possibly imagine. You'll definitely be able to make it sound amazing in your car. Again, the iDoing links for the full review and where you can buy it will be in the video description below. And that brings us to Makidi or Navafly. I learned about Makidi from the viewers of my channel who asked me to review one to see how good they are. In fact, I managed to get this virtual tour video of their main office where their software development and quality control processes are carried out, which is interesting and it kind of shows their level of professionalism. Makidi focuses mainly on head units designed for specific cars rather than single and doubled in universal units. But the reason why they've made it onto this list is because of their awesome 2023 flagship, which is the M6 Pro Plus, which basically ticks all the boxes on how a head unit should be. This model is currently at a discounted price of around $380 with eight gigs of RAM and the best in class UIS 7862A SOC. And also the multi-core benchmarking score for this head unit is high than any other Android head unit that I've tested, which means that this head unit wins my 2023 award for being the fastest Android head unit. You'll also be pleased to hear that you get a top end 1200p or 2K QLED screen with visibly excellent contrast ratio and clarity. This M6 Pro Plus also comes with an elite level of connectivity, so it's gonna win my 2023 award for the best connectivity on an Android head unit. This starts with the fact that it has six channels of RCA preouts, including a centered channel, allowing for DTS 5.1 channel surround sound. You also get the premium digital audio outputs, both via optical and coaxial connections, which is awesome. Something that I have not seen on any other brand of head unit, an HDMI import. This is a game changer and it allows for any games console or indeed any HDMI device to be installed directly in your car for entertainment when you're parked. Of course, from the software side of things, the M6 Pro Plus head unit runs on Android 10, and it has its own customized software, which has great easy to navigate menus. But more importantly, the main launcher has my favorite widget, a window to allow apps to run inside the actual launcher, while still giving you access to the music widget and icons for other apps. In the video description, you're gonna find links for the full review and where to buy this head unit, but it is an AliExpress store, so make sure you order the right product. AliExpress is not really the most intuitive website to buy from. At this point, TIs probably doesn't need any introduction. They were a very well-respected premium Android head unit brand, and they did feature in my top three video from last year. TI specialize in custom solutions for specific cars, which include dashboard trims and canvas decoders to make installation a plug and play exercise. Although there is some universal options too. They made the top seven because of their latest offering, the flagship 2023 CC3 2K, which is ultimately an updated version of the original CC3 that appeared last year. It still sports the fastest head unit SOC, the UIS 7862A, with a maximum of 6 gigabytes of RAM, although this newer version does benchmark faster than the previous CC3 model. This one's around $440 from the main retailer TI's Australia, and within this price you get great Australian-based customer support should you need it. All of these are premium QLED which produce vivid colors and an excellent contrast. As you can imagine, you get a lot of premium connectivity on the CC3 2K, such as six RCA preouts, which include the center channel for DTS 5.1 surround sound, and you get the digital audio outputs via optical and coax for diff. You can also choose the option of getting 360 parking camera compatibility. I also need to give the TI CC3 2K the award for the best 360 camera implementation because out of all the 360 head units that I've tested, the TI's has the most precise and easiest calibration. From a software perspective, the TI's runs Android 10. In the top three video I did last year, I told you all that of all the Android head unit brands, 
TI software was the best available. However, this year I'm going to tell you exactly the same thing because it's glorious. This ultimately comes down to the amount of time they've spent on development, which shows in the attention to detail in the user interface, which goes beyond the launcher and the menus. Beautiful graphic design has been implemented into stuff like the canvas settings, making the most complex aspect of setting up an Android head unit infinitely simpler. TI's is still the best at this and wins my 2023 award for software development. You know that you're an industry leader when you start to see similarities in your products across other brands. One of the major plus points is a highly functional launcher which has the app widget that allows you to run particular apps in a window on the actual launcher like navigation or you can view the cameras and the launcher also features an advanced music widget that is compatible with whatever music streaming app you have installed on the head unit like spotify so with these two widgets you have navigation and music control with album art on the screen at the same time and access to other apps which means that ti's also wins my 2023 award for the best launcher software And last but certainly not least is EKIY. This is a brand that offers head units that are designed for specific cars, which again will come with dash trims and plug and play canvas looms that you'll need to make your head units look factory in your car. They do pander for all budgets too, so be careful to correctly select your specification on AliExpress because this recommendation is solely based on their 2023 flagship T7 head unit, which is ridiculous value for money for the specification that you're getting and I just simply couldn't ignore it. This T7 is powered by the fastest available head unit chip the UIS 7862A SOC and has six gigabytes of RAM on board and amazingly in my benchmark tests the EKOY obtained the highest single core CPU score of any of the head units that I tested including those with the same SOC this is a very very fast Android head unit the screen is available in 9 and 10 inch sizes running at a resolution of 720p which is plenty for the use case and it's QLED too so you're going to get those vivid colors and good contrast the EKOY why has premium connectivity such as digital outputs via optical and coax spdiff and if you buy the cameras with it it's also compatible with the premium 360 camera feature oh and you also get the built-in 4g modem so you can keep it permanently online if you want along with all this you get a decent amount of control over the audio too and again this head unit does sound excellent once you've tuned it in with these settings i haven't even got to the best bit yet with all of the premium features and specifications that i just told you about this t7 only costs $191. Yeah, you heard me, less than $200. And because of that, this T7 wins my 2023 award for the best value head unit. Talking about software, the launcher is very functional and it includes my favorite widget, which allows you to run an app from a window in the launcher. And you also have the ability to choose which app icons are presented on the home screen too. You're gonna to find that the FM radio tuner is really good and the radio app shows RDS radio stations on the preset buttons, which is great. Even the menus are really well designed and intuitive from a user interface perspective. As I mentioned before, you get what you pay for. So if you're wondering what you're losing out on by paying less on the T7, this only has three RCA outputs, so you've got left, right, and subwoofer. If I'm gonna nitpick, I'd probably say that the software generally doesn't look as refined as the other brands. But I honestly had this thing installed in my car for quite a long time, connected to this 360 cameras, looking to find a fault with it, and I couldn't. So it's genuinely a fantastic value, decent spec head unit worthy of this list. And there you have it, the best seven brands of Android head unit in 2023. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please tell me in the comments. And if you have any questions about any of these products, remember there is full reviews of each of these head units on my channel as well. So you should be able to find your answers there. If you've seen a particular brand of head unit, which I've not yet reviewed on my channel and you'd like me to take a look, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.